This is a Plevo trike. It's a Dutch design, and as with so many Dutch bikes, it's got a lot of really well thought out features for utility cycling. Some that are pretty obvious include the trunk. It's got a lot of storage space back here built in. It's it's comfortable. It's a recumbent. It's also unusual among recumbents because it's front wheel drive. The chain runs from the cranks here straight down to the front wheel. Um, that means that the steering winds up moving the pedals, so as you steer to one side or the other, the pedals move and your legs move with them. Um, it's a little difficult to get used to, but the result is that you can control the trike entirely with your legs. You don't have to steer with your hands so much. The handlebars here are mounted to the rearmost part of the trike with the rear wheels on it, and they more than anything control how much you lean to the side because unlike most trikes, this one has the ability to lean into corners independent of the steering. So I can lean the entire front frame over to one side if I'm taking a sharp corner. Um, it almost feels like riding a bike, except you can hold yourself upright when you're going up a steep hill. So in normal riding, if you're leaning to one side or the other, taking turns, um, but if you need to go slow and stay upright, you can brace yourself against the handlebars and not fall over. It's good for carrying large loads. If you've got a lot of weight, you can't necessarily go as fast. Um, it's also got some kind of unusual design elements. A lot of people, when they first see this, think that this is the front fork and that it steers from here, but it's not. The steering pivot is back here. This is actually suspension. And there's some suspension on the rear as well. So this is fully suspended. It uses just um, rubber blocks for the suspension mechanism. It's also kind of an unusual trike in that it was designed by a, I think a high school shop teacher. And so there are aspects of the design that don't really match traditional bike construction. Like the rear hubs are custom machined and don't don't fit any sort of normal bike standard. Um, it's made entirely of mild steel square tubing, so it's pretty heavy. And because the front wheel is driven, um, if you're going up a steep hill, there isn't necessarily enough weight on the front wheel to hold it down, so it can slip on steep hills or in gravel. I'll ride it around a little bit, and I think that'll be good for this video. Someone else wanted to go for a ride with me. that's it for today and next time I'll talk about um, my own version of this trike that I built in an attempt to improve on some of the some of the aspects of this that I thought needed work.